Hello, my name is Alan Schultz and welcome to Modular Home Control. Modular Home Control is a project that James Hartman and myself completed for our senior projects this semester. So why home control? Well, the problem with the current home control systems out there on the market, whether it be the Google Play Store or the Android App Store, is that they require one or two big flaws. The first is brand allegiance. Verizon, for example, requires you to, use, to basically pledge allegiance to their brand if you're going to use their system. So if you use their system, you can only use Verizon components on it. The second is that they require a lot of equipment, whether it be a lot of equipment that you have to pay for up front, or you have to pay for tactical expertise because the equipment is manufactured so that you can't manipulate it. Either way, you have to shell out a lot of money in order to get their systems up and running. Quite frankly, we're bad on that because we avoid both of these issues. The first thing that we do is we use third-party equipment that is, as long as it's compatible with the network, will work just fine. All you need is the equipment that we're about to go over here shortly, and your, and your system is up and running. The second thing is that this system is very cheap, and it's easy to work with as long as you have a very low level of technical know-how. So let's go over our system. First thing we need is just an Android phone, as you see on this diagram. You need it on a network, and that will connect to our Wi-Fi module, that red module in the upper right corner. From there, there's a lot of equipment in the middle there, which we'll go over. But along the way, you are able to control AC lighting as well as fans in your home. In the future, we hope to implement more as well, which we will also go over in the future. The most important or maybe just the most interesting component of our hardware is the Wi-Fi module. The Wi-Fi module connects to the network that our phone is on and allows it to manipulate hardware that is attached to the Wi-Fi module. Essentially what we do is we connect the Wi-Fi module to a series of extra components. Those extra components involve an AC dimmer, a bridge rectifier to convert AC input to DC output, as well as some other electronics like a, tr a TRIAC and an optocoupler. The software is much more simple. It's an Android app that we use to simply manipulate objects that are on our system. We use a database to store it, and then we, we organize by type first, so types are lights or fans, and then we go through zones. As you can see on that screen, kitchen, garage, bedroom, living room, and then we can add new devices, remove devices, add new zones, or whatever. It makes it very simple for a user to operate, and it gives them the freedom to control the home just the way that they want or need to. Here I'll be using the emulator and Android Studio to demonstrate the functionality and capabilities of our app at this moment. Keep in mind that this is not a final version of our app and that more functionality will be added at a later date. Currently we have just these three tabs, Lights, Environment, and Settings. Lights would is self-explanatory, you know, lights in your home. Um, and the environment is fans in your home, so just anything that you would use to keep yourself cool. First, in this demonstration, we'll check out Lights. And as you see, we currently have a few different zones that are already been implemented and added to the database. We have, we have kitchen, garage, and bedroom. And you have these indicators here as well, which represent how many components are in this zone. So we have two for kitchen and then one for garage and bathroom both. But you see here are the toggle switches. This is basically like an on-off switch. Uh, while on off switch, or while the off-on switch is in the on position, uh, this will control the illumination. So all lights in the kitchen right now would be at about two-thirds illumination, while your garage would be about one-third. As it's probably easy to determine, if this is on and this is a zero, the light will still be off, but um, also similarly, if, if this was all the way up and this was off, then the light would be off as well. Now, the way that we add a new device is to go up here to our, uh, to our additional tab and then go to Add Device. Now, here we have the, the option of adding to an existing zone, which we can see gra kitchen, garage, bedroom. And we have the option to go to new zone. We're going to add to a new zone just to show the more capabilities of the app. And we're going to show the living room. Here we're just going to make up some arbitrary IP address. Now, if this was an invalid IP address, then the database wouldn't accept it. The database should accept this one. And the database does, and it shows our new zone here, the living room, with one new component. Now it's controllable just like anything else. Now, to get back to our home page, 
we can go up to this additional screen and go to home as well. But let's go to the environment. As before, we have two different zones set up for our environments tab, kitchen and bathroom. This time we're going to add a new component, and this time we're going to add it to an existing zone. So we're going to go to the kitchen, and we'll make up again some arbitrary IP address. Oops. And as you see, we now have two components in kitchen, whereas one component remains in bathroom. Now these can be controlled uh, exactly as before. This concludes our presentation. Thank you. So what's the purpose of our app? Our purpose and our main goal is that we wanted to provide users with an application that they can use and control on their own without needing those two fail points that we mentioned before. We want it to be easy. We want it to require little to, to a low level of technical know-how. And we also wanted it to be relatively cheap, in which, as we demonstrated, we've met all those factors. All of the components that we mentioned together, if we made one system, would cost less than $100. Compared to that to a lot of systems that were upwards of $1,000, then you can see where we may have the advantage. Thank you for checking out Home Control.